Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your entire network on Windows 10. So if you're having network problems you cannot seem to fix, this tutorial will be for you. So there is a built-in network troubleshooter that we will try and run first. And then we'll go into how to actually reset your network settings as well. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in settings. Best match should say settings, trusted Microsoft Store app. Left click on that. And then you want to go and left click on the network and internet section. So left click on that. And then you want to go down and scroll down on the right side here underneath network troubleshooter. Diagnose and fix network problems. So left click on that. Again, I would suggest running the network troubleshooter first because when you do a network reset, it will forget your Ethernet network as well as any Wi-Fi networks and passwords, and it will forget any additional connections on your computer such as VPN networks or virtual switches that you have created. Just keep in mind that resetting will disable and then reinstall all the network adapters and set the networking components back to their original settings. So you might have to go through it. This is a home or office network, so just keep that in mind. So I'd recommend trying the troubleshooting first. What type of network problems you're having? Say you're trying to have a different problem using a specific network adapter. So let's just let it run here. Go through some of the different problems, see if it figures out what the issue is. Now, if that didn't work, I would also suggest opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best method say command prompt. You want to right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, left click on yes. command prompt, you want to type in ipconfig, space forward slash flush DNS, exactly how it appears on my screen. Then you want to hit enter. Once you've done that, you want to type in netsh, space winsock, space reset, exactly how it appears. So again, netsh, space winsock, w-i-n-s-o-c-k, space reset. You want to hit enter. It says successfully reset the winsock catalog. You must reset the computer in order to complete the reset. I recommend you guys heed that advice, research your computer, see if it's worked. Now if you're still having problems, then we can go forward with the network reset here. So select network reset down here. Network reset, this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set your other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as a VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Left click on reset now, you're going to get a final prompt that asking if you can confirm that you want to reset your network settings. Left click on yes. So it says you're about to be signed out. I'm going to click on close. So if we click on reset now, we can actually restart our computer. So I'm actually just going to need to manually initiate it here. So I'm going to restart. So as you can see, we get, do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs? We're going to just select no for my purpose of my video. And since I'm in a virtual environment, it's not going to prompt me for a password to actually connect to the Ethernet connection or Wi-Fi, depending on whatever you're using. But just to give you guys an idea, it probably will ask you in your case. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.